Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Whitaker is 29. Adesanya is 31. He is four inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Presenting the challenger, Robert Whitaker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Israel, the last defender, Adesan. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. Are you ready? Arena and date to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship in the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. The greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. What a punch. So a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful legs. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. And that one certainly found the target. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Hand up, hand up. Nice kick. Oh, super. 
Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Lead kick landed there by Whitaker. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And they separate. Lands with the right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the round. First step for take down. 15 seconds. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were easily matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there. Now he throws really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh! Big kick land. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just over three minutes to go now. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration. Oh! So we call on the fight stats here on officially 49 total strikes. Ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to put your posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to stand up in the boxing, and that is on full display right now. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful kick. Wow! Oh, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. No! Oh, my God! Oh, Superman punch! There's no give in that leg kick. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Adesanya. Right punches there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, that's a good strike there by Adesanya. There's no tail on that leg. Oh, he's hurt. Whitaker Scott of Blue starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. 78 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Robert Wood. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Oh! Unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Whitaker. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh! Very oh! Oh! Whitaker's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. You don't know oh! where that leg is. He's out! He got him! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still 